Mikel who gets the catch. He's got patrol. White Bear Stadium, the friendly confines of White Bear Lake Area High School. We've got boys soccer for you tonight on SCC. As the White Bear Lake Bears and the Forest Lake Rangers clash in a suburban East Conference tilt here tonight. Alongside Don Ackerman, my name is Ted LaRue. Now, White Bear Lake enters this one a little bit better in the suburban East Conference than Forest Lake here, Don. White Bear Lake over the last 10 years, they have been dominant over Forest Lake, no doubt about that. But when you have that in the back of your head right now for Forest Lake, how do you kind of try to get over that as they enter this game? Well, the Forest Lake, there's a lot of seniors, so you kind of want to go out strong and you want to end that kind of thing, I think. So you want to put an end to that kind of streak and just start a new one. Beautiful weather here today, 80 degrees, sunny skies on a Beautiful night here in White Bear Lake, Minnesota, and a perfect night for boys soccer as the Forest Lake Rangers, they're getting ready to go. Rangers are going to be led here tonight by a couple of guys. Carter Thiesfeld, six goals and seven assists for him. Jordan Oberholtz there, eight goals, five assists. So watch out for those two guys for Forest Lake coming into this one. And for White Bear Lake, they've got some. Gavin Rogers has four goals this season. There you see Jordan Oberholzer, the senior mid here for the Rangers is there right at center field as we are ready for a great evening of soccer here at White Bear Stadium, home of the White Bear Lake Bears. And if you look at that eight goals, you're talking that's in seven games. So that's pretty impressive. More than a goal a game average there, and that's going to be the key for White Bear Lake. The Bears are two and two in their last four games. They have, in those four games, their wins were over Park and Tartan. As this one's going to be sailed up and over the net. That's a different way to start the game. Goal kick, White Bear Lake. So the Bears will put it in play on a goal kick. Sails up towards the midfield. Kicked out of there by Victor Rizzo. Playing the midfield for the Rangers. Pretty good pressure here for the Bears. And the battle was won there, at least momentary, by Isaiah Dressel of Forest Lake. And a free kick right at midfield. Yeah, that immediately shifts the balance. Attack just went over the head what a member of, of the Carter Thiesfeld. As we said in the open, the six Parasite goals for him this season. The press box. Trevor Schmidt will throw this one in. Off the side. High lob. Plenty of coverage wow. in the box. Forrest Lake gets on the board first. Jordan Oberholzer scores, and it's 1-0 Forest Lake. Ninth goal of the year for Oberholzer. That throw-in was as good as any corner kick I've seen. Perfectly placed. The first opportunity, not so much as we send there down. White Bear Lake had some good coverage in the box, but the ball finds the foot of Jordan Oberholzer. We'll take a look at it here one more time. Just at inside position. Yeah, went off one of the Bears. Well, that's how you kind of reverse a trend. Get on the board early in the very first minute of this game. Yeah, that was being Johnny on the spot, as they say, but being having your eyes open. He tucked it right into the side of the net there. Beautiful goal. Rangers have it at about midfield. Get it back out there. Good passing early on here for the Rangers and the white white kits with the maroon shorts. Let's 
center field. Pass a little bit too strong. He's going to find it anyway. And that one went off of Victor Rizzo. It'll stay with the Bears. He'll have a throw in. Off the throw. At the top. Kick to the other side. Interception for the Bears. Bears in their all orange kits here tonight. Got that orange crush look going on. As the ball is worked up ahead here towards midfield for Daniel Vargas. Vargas defended well. Ooh, Bears work it ahead. Good lead pass. A little bit too far out in front, though. Yep, good defense. Goalie was backing it up. Nice kick down the field, and Forest Lake can reset here. Oberholzer at midfield. Good foot there. Nice steal. Vargas will give and go. Vargas works it ahead. Got a man. He's onside. In wow. on goal and just wide. Wow. Micah Anderson, the junior, just shot it wide. He was looking for his third goal of the season. Wow, goalie contested it, but he had he kind of could, could pick his spot there. That was that was beautiful. White, White Bear Lake has had two really good chances on the lead pass up ahead. That one got through. The first one did not. Here's another look at the shot uh, by Micah Anderson. A little bit of contact towards the end there with the defender, but no call, no goal. Well, it's going to be a Forest Lake throw in now with Oberholzer. Lead pass ahead. Looking for Gavin Mittendorf. The Bears pitch it ahead towards midfield, but now Forest Lake will work back the other way towards their attacking net. Thies fouled, feeds That's it ahead. That's a nice ball. Good cross, but just offside. Offside over there. Now that's one thing about Forest Lake is they've did good passing, right? Thus far, and they're really leading uh, their attackers in good form here so far. Rangers have it in the midfield area, worked ahead by Rizzo. At first, nobody home, but great hustle by Oberholzer to get in between two Bear defenders and have a shot at it. It's going to be a goal kick for the Bears. Bears put it in play. It's taken by Joe Wallach. Joe Wallach leads the Bears in assists here this season. It's going to be a throw in for White Bear Lake. Working quickly back to Wallach. Turnover, and here come the Rangers back the other way. Working the far sideline. Stays with the Rangers right in front of their bench. Throw up coming here from Breen Iden. Feeds it into Dressel. Some contact. Officials deem it clean, and it comes back to the midfield. Ooh, that's a nice header. Worked ahead to Oberholzer. Comes back, and that one is good. Three points for Forest Lake, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Goal kick. Better thieves Wait, On target, just a little. You high. know, I would say he's doing his best Dan Bailey impression, but he'd have to put it wide of the upright wow. for that to be the case. <laughs> I think I think to do a proper Dan Bailey, you have to hit the upright, don't you? <laughs> oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Either way, definitely not a Dan Bailey impression. As we carry on here at White Bear Stadium. As a Packer fan, I always got to get my digs in. Yeah, I was going to say, didn't they show your Twitter handle at the beginning? So if you have any <laughs> thoughts on that, please <laughs> let Ted know. <laughs> the Bears at the midfield, and they're going to look to work this thing up. Um, they've had one good shot here today as Micah Anderson shot a wide and nice lead pass ahead. Forrest Lake on the board early with Jordan Oberholzer, if you're just joining us. Got on the board in the first minute. Yep, yep, yep. This one out of bounds will be a quick throw in here for Thiesfeldt. No, that's about the longest we've seen a throw in last. He's pondered his options. Back to Thiesfeld. 
White Bear looking to pinch to the sideline. That's a nice lead pass, but a curved a little bend a little bit too much. If that one's straight on target, that would have been another great scoring opportunity for the Rangers. Yeah, I like him looking down the field first before he kicked that too. You could see he was thoughtful. Ooh. Turnover. Thies felt jostling for position. Bears win the battle, at least for the time being. Worked at good work right oh. in the center. Take it down the right. There's two Bears and four Rangers. Wow, he almost caught that. Oh. Bears going down, but we play on. Bears looking to string some passes together in the midfield. Daniel Vargas. Vargas ahead of Anderson. There you go. Looking to get in their cycle, their setup. Look down. Got to be looking down the field there. Instead, it goes the way of the Rangers. Oberholzer, boy, you can tell. Look how Look at that fast Jordan Oberholzer is compared to the defenders of White Bear Lake. When you have that catch-up speed like that, sometimes the defenders, with their back turned, they don't see you coming the other way. Yeah, and he was coming with some speed. Definitely something that, uh, if I'm the Rangers, I want to look at doing again. If I see the open space there, just kick it, let him go get it. Looks it's like he'll get it. Similar position to how they scored, just it's flipped on the other side. There's the throw in. Oberholzer and others fighting for position for the Bears win that battle down there. Let's see if they Oop, works around two defenders. Breakout for the Bears, but look at that catch up speed once again for Forest Lake. Loose ball still diving for it. Victor Rizzo for Forest Lake was quick enough to avoid a clear shot attempt. And gets it out of there quickly. It's interesting sometimes to see how mad a goalie can be when the defenders let that kind of thing happen. He seemed to be very calm about it. A little ricochet action there. Oberholzer down there. You can tell Oberholzer very. We know he's fast. We know he's quick, but he can. He's very aggressive. He is definitely going after every play here in the early going. We're about 10 minutes into the first half. To the room alongside Don Ackerman here on SCC. White Bear Lake, Forest Lake. The battle of the East Suburban Lakes here this evening from White Bear Stadium. There's the Bears. We'll get this on the throw in with Jason Wynn, the senior. Bears will contest that once again. They're finally getting some time in the zone down here. It's going to be a throw in right near the flag in front of the corner. Right off the throw. Bounce up. Nothing doing for the Bears, but it'll come up top. Good feet to get around in front. Oh boy, if that one would have went through one more defender, Bears would have had a good shot at it. They'll have another good shot at it. Micah Anderson, among others, battling down there for White Bear Lake, but it's cleared out to the midfield. Yeah, offensively, they keep getting those opportunities back. They're really being aggressive right now. Oh, we'll stay with the Bears. And throw in, defended well by Forest Lake. So Rangers will try to work it ahead. Try to lead pass out in front. Dangerous play for the keeper to come out into traffic like that. Yeah, he was well behind his box where he could use his hands. And a whistle, this will be a free kick, it looks like, for White Bear Lake. Or Forest Lake, I should say. Free kick, Forest Lake. Isaiah Dressel will put it in the air. 
As we approach the halfway point of half number one. Oberholzer, nice head over to Thiesfeld. Thiesfeld shot goes wide. I was thinking that was a pass, hoping one of his teammates would be making a run for the goal. But his goal teammates probably trying to stay on side, and that's the trick, right? Exactly. Forest Lake has had their good opportunities. They've controlled the time of possession here early, although White Bear Lake has had one good chance. So far, the scoreboard tells the entire story, and it's one to nothing, Forest Lake. Here we go, another chase. And as you said, good chase good, good. over there. Goes off Forest Lake out of bounds, so White Bear can set up something down here, and that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna change who's throwing it in. Can have a throw in here. Six, six. Well, give and go oh. action right off the throw in and hey, Jones, right. hey, Jason, hey, misplay. Jason Wynn trying to get it back to his teammate right after he threw it in. And, uh, the communication did not work out there for White Bear Lake. Rangers on the offensive here at the midfield. We'll try to work it up. Gets it to Carter Thiesfeld. Thiesfeld still got it. Good job getting that loose ball. Oh, knocked loose. Still going to be a good throw in opportunity, though, there over there for Forest Lake. Gives White Bear a chance to reset their defense, get everybody down the field. There's a lot of orange down in that box. Colin Jones over there. Oberholzer with the ball. Back up top to Dressel. Trying to get it over there to Thiesfeld. Defended pretty well. He'll have the ball. He'll keep it in just barely. Still, nope, they're going to say it was out. It's going to stay with the Rangers, though. Oh, good. So they're going to switch it to the guy who threw in the great pass in the, for, the, for the only goal of the game. That's Trevor Schmidt looking for another one. Ooh. Good save. Got his paw up there to knock it away. Yeah, I think he was trying to head it in. Comes back out to the midfield and Marcus Longsdorf. That didn't get played the way he wanted to, that's for sure. But Forest Lake continues to stay on the attack. Rangers will throw. And a whistle. A free kick for White Bear Lake. Free kick, White Bear Lake. And that looks like the kind of play where they're trying to just manage the uh, aggressiveness a little bit. Not letting it get too fierce. Bears put it in play right at the center. Paul Morris. Putting on the moves as they Approach closer to the net. Back to Morris. Play blown dead, and we'll go to the way of Forest Lake. A little bit of one-on-one -on -one action there, but not a lot of passing. I think that uh, that's going to favor Forest, Forest Lake. Lake. Goal kicks immediately grabbed by the White Bear team. They hit the midfield. And that's some good work, teamwork right there. Jason Wynn feeds it ahead. It went off of a Forest Lake player, Victor Rizzo, and out of bounds. Bears have it on the sideline. It'll stay with White Bear Lake. Quick throw in. The Rangers were ready for it. In the center, pretty good chance here for the Bears. Passing not on the mark, though. Just a little bit in front. Good idea, though. The Rangers will throw over there on the far side. So we near the halfway point here of the first half done. you got to think advantage Forest Lake so far, don't you? Definitely. 
Yeah, I think uh, White Bear Lake has had a couple of good passes where they've got a sequence together, but sometimes they're trying to just beat guys one-on-one. -on -one. I think the passing is going to be more effective. Forest Lake has had better passing so far. Rangers take it away. They'll try to work it up the pitch. Instead, it's headed back toward the midfield. That's Some fun. contact over there, right in front of the Ranger bench. Yeah, you can't run through people. If you could, it'd be awfully exciting, though. I think that's a different football. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason why they have two footballs is lobbed up as the Rangers will head it back towards the big paw over here in center field at White Bear Stadium. Ooh. That was an aggressive play earlier. Player got up, though. Good sportsmanship, too. I didn't see any follow-up activities. Just chasing the ball. Like I like to see that. Rangers have it with Breen Iden. Now it's taken away. Vargas forced to play it back as two Rangers defenders came into him. Vargas, right in the middle of the field. That's where you want it. Nice pass. Quick fire, and that one's going to be well wide off goal the foot of J.B. Morris, and a goal kick upcoming for Forest Lake. I'd like to see him go for his teammates in that situation. Those long kicks are kind of hard to hard to turn into a goal. Goalie was certainly ready for it to come his way, even though it went far wide. Carter Thiefeld, that's a long lead pass and a good one. Good attacking opportunity for Forest Lake. Kevin Middendorf kept it in, but couldn't get it. Couldn't go get it again, but he's thinking about it. After the bounce, it kind of worked towards him a little bit instead of towards the net. Goal kick, White Bear Lake. Goal kick coming here for the Bears. Nick O'Brien will put it in play. Sophomore defender. Rangers will work it back. Oh, well, that's a nice Look play. That. Looking Look for that. Carter Thiesfeld. Defended well, though. Good recovery by Paul Morris of White Bear Lake. And a goal kick upcoming. Although the good pass goal there, you got to give some credit to Morris and the defenders retreating back in yeah. the orange kits. I think that's exciting as a as a team play, team player to see the ball being go, driven down the field and I can go get it. I that's exciting. It's the kind of teammate I want, someone who's going to try to find a spot for me to go score. Turnover, Rangers get it back. Shot went off the side of the net. A goal kick up coming goal here for White Bear, White Bear Lake. Got a substitution. I think these are our first substitutions of the game. Yeah, we've gone 20 plus minutes, and now we're going to get some fresh bodies here into the game for White Bear Lake. It's a little warm tonight, so it's probably nice to get a little break, get some water. These felt will wind and fires just wide. Goal kick, White Bear Lake. A diving effort. The shot was wide regardless. Good the power. Long shot. Yeah. Good, good power on that shot. Bears going to put it in play. Nice play once again. Ahead for Oberholzer. Forest Lake throwing up coming. Yeah, Oberholzer was trying to measure the ball and his defender at the same time couldn't really get the, that nice in between that he wanted to go get that ball. But they keep possession, so that's what you really want. Nice throw in, close. Good chance, high lob in the box. Robert Holshue had a shot at it down there, just didn't quite get all of his forehead on it. And a goal kick here for White Bear Lake. Yeah, that play looked designed for number 12.
tad windy out here tonight. A little bit of a breeze on this warm night. In this warm weather it seems like the calm before the storm before we're going to get don't do it. Colder temperatures. Don't do it. You know what's coming there, Don. Stop it. <laughs> we are enjoying outdoor soccer yes, on a beautiful night. That we are. Might even be a little warm for the boys. Free kick here upcoming. Free kick for Slank. For the Rangers. The air does have that summer feel to it, though. Oh, it does, yes. We had a little bit of fall Christmas re crispness recently, and it's... Uh, been replaced by that heat. So we'll see how they set up the set piece. There's White Bear Lake setting up the wall. Great chance, great opportunity here for the Rangers. We'll see if Forest <laughs> Lake can make anything out of it. Okay, so changing this change here could be a play they're going to run. There you go. They're going to try to go behind the wall. Tried to go Thies felt to Oberholzer and try to get sneaky as he said there, Don, but White Bear Lake was all over it. Yeah. You might be able to fool the Ranger, but he can't fool the bear. Are you saying that the bear is smarter than the Ranger? I don't know. I think we were, we were talking <laughs> about maybe when bears and Rangers collide, what should we do, boo boo? <laughs> Rangers will play on. And Ooh. Contact there on the near, near sideline. That was selfless, giving mm -hmm. up your body for the game. No harm done. Rizzo swinging a miss. People are flying around now. A lot of aggression here early on. And obviously not in a bad way, but they're just going after a lot of plays. This is maybe a play that you'd see later on in the game facing the deficit. Free kick for yes. Yeah, I think people have warmed up and now they're trying to get into the game. They want to get they want to get some more action and get another goal on the board before halftime. Comes out to the midfield. Right in the center to Dressel. Trying to work around a defender. Oh, decent lead pass, but where's the bear defender there to knock it away momentarily? Yeah, I like his touch on that pass. Looking for the cross in front to Oberholzer. It skipped off a white Bear Lake defender's foot. Too close to the goal to really create an opportunity there, but a great idea. Just try to move it down the field a little bit. I think you have a better chance for your teammates to get some action off of it. Rangers will kick it out, and it will be a side throwing, I believe, for white Bear Lake. Oh yeah, look at that sky, great camera shot. Beautiful sky here tonight. Nice flick it forward, but there's no one there to grab it. Oh, just caught it out of bounds. Thomas Coyen will throw in here for the Bears. Uh, we had a lot of excitement early in this one. The goal in the first minute by Jordan Oberholzer. Since then, a lot of back and forth, a lot of feeling out process. White Bear Lake had a good opportunity. With Micah Anderson, he shot it wide. Other than that, it's been a lot of midfield play. So kick back, it's Dressel trying to fight for it. Possession going seesawing back and forth. Up to Thiesfeld. Spins around and he's got free space in front of him. Thiesfeld, good feet ahead between the defense. He was looking to give it back to Oberholzer. That was Robert Holshue with the chance. I think we're going to get a corner here, though. And they just tap it in right away. Shot. In the box, and it wow. goes wide. And they were trying to get quick and maybe trying to catch the Bears off guard. And a shot from distance goes wide of the post. Yeah, I mean, that's what you build for is a great opportunity like that. You just hope it break one player breaks the right way at the right time so you can put it in the net. 
It's a good opportunity for sure. Forest Lake's back on the attack. Well, that took a while to blow. That whistle blew a little later than I think uh, Forest Lake would have liked. And the Bears are going to advance this one up for a free kick. Sending everybody deep, basically. Send it out. Nice. There's good chance here for the Bears as they approach the net. The attacking end of the field. Set up in front, near the net. Oh. Just wide. But another chance at it. Two great chances for White Bear Lake. And it goes by the wayside, but that was a great setup chance for the Bears. That was phenomenal. And that was good teamwork happening right there. That wasn't just like one guy go chase it. That was people working together, and that's what you like to see if you're trying to put together a string and get a goal on the on the on the field on the scoreboard. Third yeah. time's the charm, right? Yeah, my tongue got tied there. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, you're good. Ooh, nice steal. Rangers have it with Thiesfeld. Thiesfeld works it ahead. Keeper going to come out of the net. That one just wide. That's what happens when you come out of your net a little bit and approach the play. Goal kick for White Bear Lake. Right, but the Bears will goal kick it. Forest Lake has had a couple of really good chances, a lot of almosts here later in the first half. Yeah, that was a very aggressive play by the keeper and almost paid for it. Nick O'Brien, boot to ball. Over to Thomas Coyen. Work to the other side of the field. Intercepted by Mittendorf. Forest Lake just seems to be controlling most of the action here. But it just takes a couple good plays like this. This little give and go up the far sideline. Splitting the defense, or at least trying to. Goes down, whistle blows. This is going to be a great scoring opportunity coming up for the Bears. After the foul, we're going to give him a PK here. They're going to yeah. deem it as it was a scoring opportunity. I that's amazing. And a penalty kick and a great opportunity to tie it up 1-1. Step back, fires, scores! And the Bears tie it up. 1-1. Keeper got it with his feet, but he's heading in the wrong direction, so he couldn't truly stop it. Yeah, that was very close. It's not very often you see save opportunities that close. So as we take another look here at the replay, oh. yeah, it kind of just went off one of the foot of goalkeeper Gunnar Lynn, and it goes into Bears the back of the goal net. Scored by number eight, Karsten Kletty. Karsten Kletty, the goal scorer one there for the Bears. The and Kletty. According to the statistics provided by the Minnesota Soccer Hub, that is his first goal of the season. And it comes at a great time. A 1-1 game, and we'll see if that goal can spark some momentum and spark some confidence here for the Bears. How will the Rangers respond? Yeah, my, my breath is kind of taken away. The game completely turned on a dime there. That's the thing, one penalty kick. Worked ahead. Near side, we'll see how they handle this one in a one-on-one -on -one battle. In front, right at the top of the box. What a nice, easy save. Good job laying it off for his teammate to kick that shot. But it had too many people to go through and the goalkeeper was waiting for it. Ball worked ahead. 
Warriors under a lot of pressure. Oh, good chance here. That's Jordan Oberholzer. Oberholzer. Some good recovery and coverage. Needed someone else running the, basically alongside him there so he could pass it back to him because he was looking to help a teammate. Oh. You can tell White Bear Lake has this spark of confidence now following that goal. Here's another great chance. And a great save! Goes low and the keeper ran him the entire way. Coley blocks it for a split second, doesn't have possession, hurries up and collects it. Now he's gonna kick it off. Good save by Gunnar Lynn. It's now Forest Lake just like that. The field is flipped. Going back the other way, Gunnar Lynn. Oberholzer's back into it. Thies Felt works it to the middle at the top of the box. Coverage by the Bears. And a whistle blow. Gunner Lynn on the season, a 78% 78 per, 78 save percentage, just over a two goals uh, against average. Well, this is a good opportunity for Forest Lake. I have liked the way that they're working together. You can see that they're looking, for t looking to pass it and set up their teammates in the uh, offensive area when they're, when they're getting down to the box. Now they're talking about who's going to do what here. And we'll see if they try to pull a fast one like they did last time. Oberholzer and Thiesfeld up at the top near the ball. To Thiesfeld. Didn't get through. Shot blocked. The Bears try to work it ahead. But can you tell the, oh, there's some contact right in front of the White Bear Lake bench. Whistle blows immediately. That was dangerous. That was really dangerous. That could. Especially so close to the bench, right into the steel bleacher over there. Yeah, I'm surprised there wasn't a card for that one just because Free so close, so play. far to the edge there. Free kick here for the Rangers. Put the ball in play. But no one seems to be injured on the play, so that's really nice. going to go to White Bear Lake is just under six minutes remaining here in half number one. Started off goal in the first minute for Forest Lake, Jordan Oberholzer. And then a goal by Karsten Kletty on a penalty kick later on here just a few minutes ago. That tied it up one to one. That's been the story of this game so far. Yeah, Forest Lake needs to put something together here. I, they'd really like to probably go in with a 2-1 lead if they can. They dominated a good chunk of this game, but the scoreboard has it all equal. Rangers throw it up. Bears trying to clear, back to midfield. Nice pass it's between two defenders of Vargas. Daniel Vargas working backwards, now forwards. He's going in the right direction now. Some contact taken away. No whistle, Isaiah Dressel. Yeah, he likes to run, but Dressel, uh, Dressel has the ball control that he's not going to let that happen. Possession going back and forth. Over on the far sideline. You can see the intensity is up. Even when the ball goes out of bounds, you have players on both sides pointing. It's our ball. So you can see that intensity increasing. And, and now they're, they're worried maybe Great more of a foul, so they called like. another one. I think we saw more contact earlier where it wasn't called, but now you're seeing it called. Now they know they got to tighten the game up. Here's Thiesfeld. Off the turnover, one on two. He just needs a little space. A little contact. Whistle blows late. I think Forest Lake's gonna keep this and they're gonna have a good situation. Officials will meet over there on the far side. Briefly talk about it. Watch that far 
I think. They're lo are they lining up for a penalty kick? I think they are. And I was thinking that that foul was was as not as or more aggressive than the one that we had seen already called. That's least felt. And I think this was called by the side judge. So we're gonna have another penalty kick, our second of the game, just in the first half. I think they're gonna reset the clock here. 25, I think I heard him say. Well, we're gonna put one second back on the clock here. We're really going over one second, that's interesting. Okay, here we go. He's gonna wait for that clock to be right before he signals we can start. If you've tried doing the clock operator job, not an enviable, enviable job. We're gonna do 335. So oh. they're gonna put 11 seconds back on the clock. Thieves felt the penalty kick. Goes high! It sailed on him, and we remain 1-1. One, one. When he's asking the referee something. No goal. That would have been the seventh goal of the season for Carter Thiesfeld. But now, White Bear Lake, good opportunity coming back the other side. Good hustle over there to retrieve the ball. Setting up an attack. Nice defense. Carter Thiesfeld. to Vargas. Vargas with three minutes and change remaining in the first. Here on the other side, and it goes out of bounds. Under three minutes remaining. I was gonna say if it did go out oh, of bounds, I wonder. He's, he's got it. Split in the defense. Thieves fouled. Works it ahead. Oh. Misplayed. White Bear Lake soccer. Parents, White Bear Brown after that field one. Wow. Bear Lake soccer parents, please make your way out down the, the break. This time. Things picking up, I think, here late in the first half here, Don, because momentum going into halftime. Very much up for grabs. If you can take a two to one lead going in to halftime, you're gonna be well set going forward. Yeah, I think some of the players too know that if they, they run hard for another, you know, three minutes, they're gonna get a break. Whereas when there's 15, 20 minutes left, you have to run for 20 minutes. It's a different mindset. Mm -hmm. You can see uh, that they're running for it. Nice, nice move there. Gets free. Working it up for Carter Thiesfeld. Good idea. But a good play by Nick O'Brien just to get rid of it. 16 was coming after it. He, they did not want to risk him getting it. Live to fight another day. We're under 90 seconds left in the first. Good throw in. Header goes mm. wide. In other situations where I think Forest Lake ran the play they wanted and executed it, they just, the, you know, it's hard to hit the ball into the perfect spot, but you have great opportunities by Forest Lake. Even though the game's tied, they've, mm -hmm. uh, they've been the better team. One minute remaining in the half. Under a minute to go. Bears trying to work ahead. Both teams fighting hard for it. See if they can get something on the board here in the final minute. Good passing by White Bear Lake. A little triangle over there on the far side. Nice run. Good head of speed. Approaching the box. In the box. Forest Lake will clear it out, at least for the time being. Under 30 seconds to go. Long kick, what a contact there. Lynn makes the save. 
And that will end the White Bear Lake threat here. We'll see if Forest Lake can quickly go down the field. Oh. Got a chance and a one on two. But time will expire here in the first half. Forest Lake and White Bear Lake. Each At team one penalty play, kicks. One, one, Forest Lake and White Bear, Bear Lake at halftime. It's been an exciting first. We'll see what's in store for the second when we come back on SCC Sports. More than 70,000 people die from drug abuse in a year. 7.5 million people work more than one job to make ends meet. Human trafficking is a $32 billion industry in the U.S. On a single night, over half a million people are homeless in the U.S. Together with thousands of corporate partners and millions of donors and volunteers, United Way fights for the health, education, and financial stability of every person in every community. Together, in a year, we help more than 3 million people get health care services and support, and over 1 million people get on the path to financial stability. We help more than 2 million at-risk teens without a school programs and individualized support, and over half a million people get back on their feet with job skills training. These are the faces of change. You can be one, too. Chiru has no choice. She and millions like her must walk miles every day for dirty water. But together, we can end their walk by providing clean water close by. Instead of spending hours walking to get water that makes them sick, girls can be in a classroom that expands their minds, and moms will gain back time to care for their families. Sons and daughters can grow up strong, finally free of sicknesses caused by dirty water. At World Vision, care about clean water runs deep. Deep enough to reach one new person with clean water every 10 seconds. Because every child, every person, everywhere deserves clean water and the chance to rise to their full potential. It's true. When you just add water, you change a life. Learn more at worldvision.org. Vision loss is not something that you feel until it happens. Most people lose their vision from diseases like macular degeneration and glaucoma, not at birth. Three million Americans have glaucoma, and half don't even know it. 11 million people in the United States have macular degeneration. So many eye disorders can be treated if caught early. Make a plan today to get your eyes checked. Visit brightfocus.org to learn more. We're at halftime, just about ready to start half number two of this Suburban East Conference Boys Soccer matchup. Forest Lake and White Bear Lake all tied at one. I'm Ted LaRue alongside Don Ackerman. Don, first half, first minute. Forest Lake got on the board. White Bear Lake scored on a penalty kick. Um, that half was definitely front loaded and back loaded and a lot of just back and forth. Um, in the middle. How would you expect the second half to start? Yeah, I, I thought Forest Lake had the advantage, and if they were able to convert their penalty kick, it would be 2-1 to one instead mm -hmm. of tied. And they, it was a similar play, right? You had a player running down and getting fouled in the box, at the top of the box, really, really at the high point of the box yep. on both sides. So, I'm, I mean, if I'm Forest Lake, I think they were doing what they wanted. They just have to be really wary of White Bear Lake with that with that drop pass and using using that speedster they've got. I maybe expect Forest Lake to try that a little bit more because they do have some good players who can get down the field with 16 and 24. So I'd expect them to leverage them, but I guess we're going to find out. Rangers getting ready for half number two. And we are here on SCC Sports as we take a look. These were the goals. First minute, Jordan Oberholzer, right place, right time, finds the back of the net. one nothing. there's the penalty kick right off the foot and into the back of the net. How convenient. And a 1-1 game. That's how we've gotten to this point. 
White Bear Lake and Forest Lake all tied at one as we start the second half. And uh, take a look at some of the stats here from these teams. And you see White Bear Lake outscored on average two and a half to about 1.2. And you look at that, we talked about their last 10 meetings. They've only lost one time, 6-1 and 3 against Forest Lake. Um, but this Forest Lake team, as you see, they are senior, a senior-laden team. And their game last year what ended up with a tie, so yeah. we're repeating history so far. Yep, so White Bear Lake only lost one time to this team in the last 10 years. So that's got to that's got to weigh in the mind of some of these of some of these guys on, on both on both sides. It says we're ready for half number two. White Bear Lake and Forest Lake. Ted LaRue alongside Don Acker in here on SCC Sports. Ball put in play immediately, and they're going to try to go right from about 60 yards out. They like that. They tried that last time, too. And the ball is booted. Back the other way. Ooh. As the Rangers will start, good lead pass. Looking for Oberholzer. Oberholzer. Oh, good slide tackle to take it away. If he could have tapped that ball forward while he was going over it, he would have had a great shot. And here we go. We're going deep. At the other end, just like that, the Bears on the attack. From a long way out, that one was deflected. Long pass ahead, a little bit behind Mittendorf. That's Daniel Vargas here for the Bears. Feeds it on the far sideline. Good ball control. Setting up nice on the far header. side. Good head. Great chance. That's, that's it. White Bear Lake in front. Great passing. Tick, tack, toe. Two in a row for the Bears as they take a one goal lead. We saw initially they started off with some high, aggressive, deep, but then on that last day, you can see they're playing possession the whole way down the field. We, I don't know, did they have seven or eight guys in a row touch it? And it ended beautifully. Yeah. You could see immediately that if he could be patient, right here, look at that set up. There's the tick. That There's the tack. There's the toe. And there it goes. Goal scored by number nine. And it's Kevin, Kevin Rogers, Rogers scoring his fifth goal of the season, the leading Rogers goal scorer. On this team, 42nd minute goal, just like that. Rangers with an attack. Oberholzer was down there. That Forest Lake goalie didn't really have a chance on that kind of play. He needs some defensive help there. That they cannot let White Bear Lake run run down the field like that. Great execution. This game just flips. It started in the first half with an early goal from Forest Lake, and now an early goal from White Bear Lake. So this should be a throw in for the Bears. I thought this one went off of Breen Iden of the Rangers, and indeed it did. And we'll go to Forest Lake. Throw in, played at the midfield by Justin Whistler. Nice passing, good setup. Feed ahead here to Aiden. Good recovery by Nick O'Brien to kick it away. Yeah, and that, I think this is kind of what Forest Lake wants to do, bring down there, get a nice throw in, set something up, get your players on in position. But you're going to have to string together more than two passes in a row. You can really tell ever since White Bear Lake scored their first goal, they've been playing with more confidence, more momentum. Yes, that's true. It seems like they've controlled the game. And yeah, they've, as White Bear Lake will look to set up an attack here. A good chance. Vargas was there, but it was taken away. Rangers will feed it ahead. This is Mittendorf. Mittendorf and the Bears will just kick it out. 
live to find another day. It'll be a throw in here for the Rangers. Throw in. Rangers will set it up. I think we're going to have a corner. corner kick for his leg. This is a big opportunity. Corner kick for the Rangers. Looks like Oberholzer will put it in play from the corner. Yeah, they like setting up the headers on these plays. There it is. Looks to get the header from the far side, but it was a little bit too far out there and did not get enough velocity. Wanted to have a chance to score. But they're executing what they want to do. But that does not help them on the scoreboard. So far their one goal was really just a great opportunity taken advantage of, but not necessarily a play that was set up right. White Bear Lake couldn't go, get anything going. So Forest Lake will move the ball back the other way. Good idea to center back, but there was no one there to take it. It's a good lead pass. Good opportunity here for the Bears. Looking for the cross. Too late. Good recovery defensively for the Rangers, but it'll set up a great quarter kick opportunity here for the Bears. Yeah, the Bears are moving in position, but not really running full speed to go get that ball. Now the winds, you can see the wind on that flag blowing pretty hard, so they'll have to place the ball correctly. Off the corner, good chance. Header, boy, you saw him. Not, couldn't quite see the number, but he got above everybody on that far side. Looking for the header, that was number eight, Karsten Kletty. If he was able to head it down inside the net, that would have been his second goal of the contest. And White Bear Lake will get the ball back here. Right now, both teams are executing their set pieces the way they want. Throwing ahead, one on one. Good passing, accurate passing in tight spaces. He's gonna get it. Cleared out, now the Rangers will try to work it ahead. There's some bodies back there for White Bear Lake to clear it out. He's got a whistle on some contact and we'll go the way of the Bears. Completely flipped the game around the second half. Free kick, White Bear Lake. And as he said, right out of the gate, a goal for White Bear Lake. And soccer can flip very quickly if you're patient enough. Bears have it. They're setting things up. Well, somehow it gets all the way through. Yeah, it took almost everybody by surprise except the goalie. And it's Gunnar Lynn. Goalkeeper for Forest Lake, so he'll boot it away. Ooh, good job. Taken away. Bears will approach. Over to Vargas. Daniel Vargas approaches, splits two defenders. Good passing, good ball handling here. They went well wide. But you got to like what White Bear Lake is doing when they're on the attacking side of midfield and how they're passing, setting things up, and um, executed most of their offense right now. Yeah, I absolutely do. I, I think that they should have kept passing and kept doing it until you attack to find the right position. I don't know if that shot was the right position, but I liked what they were doing building up to that. Forest Lake is hoping to break one loose, but so far, White Bear is completely dominating. Mittendorf will get it in. Quickly take it away by the Bears, a little advance. And 
Now the Rangers win the battle once again. Well, if you look right now, you've got three Rangers amongst two, three, six, seven, eight white bear players. So far more orange than white. I don't know how that's going to turn into a goal for Force Lake. Unless they can get one of those deep opportunities to pay off, it's looking like the defensive alignment for White Bear is not going to let something happen to them. Right now, the number is not in the favor of Forest Lake. As you said right there, you have kind of a three on one, or I should say a one on three. It did not work out for the maroon and white of Forest Lake. Yeah, I think tactically, Forest Lake's going to have to change so that they're not so far outnumbered when they get down the field, which is where they want to go. Here's Vargas. Feeds it ahead to Andrew Zhang. He's bumped off. Vargas. Literally. A little reset. Feeds it ahead. Good passing. Looking ahead. Loose ball. It's corralled by the Bears. Smart play. They had it near the top of the box there. Yeah, I like the movement there. People are being aware. They're looking for their teammates. No one's trying to take on two people. There was a little bit of contact you saw, and it's enough for the official to blow the whistle. And award a free kick to the Bears. Oh, that's probably really frustrating for White Bear. They want, or for the for the Rangers, they really want to turn that around and get down the field. Long kick up ahead on the lead. It's headed back and a whistle. Boy, they're getting a lot more, uh, definitely calling a lot more fouls and a lot more whistles late first half, early second. Yeah, I think they just don't want it to get too, too physical. Because that leads to other problems. That leads to all kinds of cards and other unnecessary activity. This one's just booted out of bounds. Forest Lake will take possession. All the way up ahead. White Bear has done a good job defending there, Don. And, uh, you know, early in the first half, they had some good breakout chances, but so far it's been defended really well. Lots of coverage for White Bear Lake defensively. Yes. So we have a kick here. Free kick for Force Lake. This is what they really need. Now they can bring everyone down the field. Get some white amongst the orange. Carter Thiesfeld on the set piece. He'll put it in play. And it's through the uprights. Another three points. It's good if, on a Friday night. If not, only. Not <laughs> I'm not really, sh I'm not really sure if that would be a successful. Even if let's say it was right on point, the goal keeps waiting for it. Yeah, right. I, I don't know how you're going to really trick him with that one. Maybe the wind's having a factor because it is look like it's coming that way, so the ball just didn't seem to have that momentum on it that you'd want to blow it by a goalkeeper. Here we go. Good chance for the Forest Lake Rangers. In the middle, that's where they want to get it. Oh, he lost it for a second. And now the Bears, good job defensively recovering as they'll come back the other way. I like the ball handling, like the passing. They've been patient ever since they got on the board. White Bear Lake has played a lot better, and that passing is very strong. Yeah, that's in it's interesting that that was all because of one breakaway. Sometimes that all that's all it takes. You definitely change your the way you play based on the score. Obviously, playing from behind, a lot different than playing uh, with a tie score. Oh, sure. 
I mean, tactically, though, the coaches probably tell them to just run, run what we can do, run what we do best. But I don't remember early on that Forest Lake was having so many. They have four guys on the back line. I don't remember. I thought it was less than that in the first half. Rangers have it as they'll work ahead. Ooh, nice job. Good lead pass. He's gonna, he might be able to get to it. No. Nope. No, he's not quite there. Good effort. It's a good white bear like ball here. Nice ball forward. Nice steal. Bears have a good shot at something here. Went off, a whistle blowed before. Oh, good sportsmanship there. Went out of bounds. They did call a foul there. Give him the free kick. But it was two guys running for the ball. There was no intent there. There's some contact. Oh, here we go. What's a whistle? Kind of explaining what's going on there. The official is as a free kick coming here for White Bear Lake. Free kick, White Bear Lake. Yeah, that was Aiden. He was beside himself. Certainly was contact, but he didn't feel like it was a foul. And his demonstrative Free kick. expression got the attention of the referee who probably doesn't want to hear it from anybody. Last time this field was used prior to tonight was last Friday night, White Bear Lake football, American, that is. <laughs> getting the win over Stillwater, 24 to 14. That well, ovalish thing, right? The yeah, brown one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The uh, White Bear Lake football team is in action, and there's a shot and a save. They are in action this Friday night, 7:30 p.m. at O'Shaughnessy Stadium in St. Paul, taking on Creighton Durham Hall. White Bear Lake football, obviously, good year last year. Went five and three in the regular year. It goes free by Ryan Bartlett as the Rangers will have a free kick here. Yeah, Aiden collect the foul there, but I they're gonna but I don't think it was worth it. He really took a good shove there, hit the ground pretty hard. In the air, that's a good good chance. That is a great setup. Good coverage as well there by the Bears. They've done a good job defensively. They've put together a good defensive game plan here in the second half. Yeah, I don't think Force Lakes had really much of a good chance at all to score. And taking the lead, they've really turned a tie game into one that they're controlling. Oh. Well, there's some contact before then. I think the officials saw it. They're telling them to separate, that's for sure. There's the officials. Tell them to shake hands. No foul <laughs> called, though. And they're not done messing with each other, that's for sure. It's like a dad telling his two boys, all right, shake hands. Right. Hug it out. You know, you'll be OK. <laughs> I'll shake his hand, Dad, but I'm not going to mean it. <laughs> There's a header a little bit too wide. And a goal kick upcoming. Nice idea, though. Certainly better than some of the other opportunities they've had. It's the kind of thing that could easily be successful if you can place it right. Certainly a nice ball into the box. Just about at the halfway point here in the second half, and as time continues to tick by, and as we approach the 20-minute mark, you got to think Forest Lake might ramp up the intensity down one. Yeah, I just saw that White Bear subbed 
in a player, so we, they're, they're bringing fresh blood in. I haven't seen anyone new come in for Force Lake. Aiden's got a chance there. Nice. That's a nice pass to the middle. A yeah, good passing. Oh. Well, they sound like a broken record again as White Bear Lake doing a good job in the box, covering any opportunities up. Vargas will work it ahead. Oh, doing a good job avoiding multiple defenders, and he's still got it. Running with a defensive position going on for sure, trying to protect his body. Feeds it ahead. Play in the box. This one's going to go out. It won't be a corner. It should be a throw here for White Bear Lake. But a great opportunity and a great position for said throw in. And yep. there is the throw. And not a whole lot doing, a lot of Rangers in that area. Try to head it forward. White Bear Lake having a tough time getting it out of there, and they finally do. Worked it up to Cole House. Got it ahead, but White Bear's ready. We lost it, saved it. Vargas back out. Midfield chance. Ooh. A little bit of contact. So they all came together, and Forest Lake will take it. White Bear had the players in position, just couldn't, just could not collect it. Good chance for the Bears. Some contact down in there, but not enough to draw the foul. Forest Lake gets it out of there. Ooh, good chance. That miss might, pay, yeah, might cut, be costly. Good chance in the box. He's got to go top of the box, That's top of the some, box. Some good defense there, though. Great defense. He wanted to go down the middle, and they did not give that to him. Thomas Breen gets it back, tried to get it to the center. Went through a couple of Forest Lake defenders, but a throw in upcoming. Man, that kind of play can give a coach a heart attack. Rangers will just clear it out once again, and this one's going to take a one hop into the bleachers. Cue the breaking glass noise. <laughs> the White Bear officiating or stadium crew like to play sound effects, which are great, very enjoyable. Trying to bend it back. And the Gunner Lynn keeps it out. No harm done. And now that they have survived that threat from the Bears, Rangers with about 18 minutes to go. Long lead pass ahead. They're going to make Aiden chase it. He can get it. Kept it in. But White Bear Lake will just clear this one out. Thomas Breen tried to feed it ahead of Joe Wallach there. Bears trying to work it to their end of the field as well. So far, the Rangers are not putting together any kind of string of activity. They do keep collecting those plays off the White Bear team, but they're not putting together a string of their own offensive attack. A shot towards the net, but that was 30 plus yards out. Easily defended by White Bear Lake. And now here come the Bears. Good chance on the far sideline. Got to get it towards the center, though. There's there a good go. pass to Wallach. Oh. That one's well wide. Yeah, I, was trying to, I think he was trying to hit that more toward the middle. You got to think here, Don, that Forest Lake is going to ramp this up here eventually. But they, man, they have had, they've had chances getting down there for them in this half, but you got to credit White Bear Lake for how well they've played defensively. Yeah, especially uh, in the second half. half. Made things difficult for Forest Lake. Yeah, I thought Forest Lake was putting great pressure on in the first half. Had that lead and got really close. Rangers advance. They're cut off by the Bears. 
again, inter inter intercepted, taken away by uh, Orange. Trying a little give and go. Rangers will throw in. There we go. They're going to sit back and let's set something up. And they're going to try to set up something, deep. trying to get inside position there, but too far. Good idea looking for House there, but he defended the player off so the ball could get through, but there was no one else there to take it. High bouncing ball. Forest Lake waiting for it to fall out of bounds so that they could throw it in. Looks like we have some timeout here for substitutions. Forest Lake making some substitutions here. Good idea, certainly a good idea. Ooh. Oh, that, I think that looked worse than it was. We play on there with Free kick, white 15 minutes remaining. There's a long play off the free kick. Out of bounds and a throw and upcoming. Yeah, Breen, Breen, Breen. Under 15 minutes remaining. Yeah, now that Oberhoser has his shoe back on, he's putting his shoe on back there. They need to get him involved. Yeah, he's the guy that scored their lone goal here this evening. And now White Bear on the attack. Wallach had it taken away. Fed ahead, Barrett's cut it off in the middle of the field. And Oberholzer has eight goals on the year and five assists. So not only is he a guy who's going to score, but he looks to help out just like he did there. He's run down the field. He gives it to his teammate. They, he just needs his teammates to lift up a little bit, keep that ball moving down. Maybe a give and go with him. Exactly. A little tic-tac-toe. That's We've seen that be successful if you, if you can get three, four passes together. Okay, now we have a player down. Clock has stopped with 13.23. Doing some stretching here. The medical staff not that concerned as they saunter over to check on him. I always love sometimes how slow the medical help is coming. It's like, get there quickly, you're medical. <laughs> Saunter, that's uh, you pulled that one out there, didn't you? Well, he, he did. From I didn't the see Don it. Ackerman Encyclopedia, <laughs> Orthothorus, if I could say that word. But uh, we're talking about dinosaurs now. Ah, <laughs> uh, he wasn't yes. moving quickly. <laughs> that's the point. Wasn't moving quickly. It appears he didn't need to. No. Uh, Player's Dan fine. Probably got a cramp or. Yeah, Danny Vargas. He's going to be okay. Force Lakes players are wise. I think they went to the bench and grabbed some water during that during that during that break. Smart move. I think if they want to win this game, they're going to have to really up their energy. They have 13 minutes left to to figure this one out. Got to get chances right away here, Rangers. Um, and I think they need to be a little bit more aggressive because it's been very difficult to get chances near the attacking net. Yeah, you can see the quality of Oberhauser as a player. See him there, oh, he got the ball stolen from him. Turnover, Bears have it in the midfield. He's gonna get it back maybe. 
Almost. Good play. Good play. Under the 13 minute mark. Up a hand. Rangers have it with Cole House, but it's quickly taken away. Any chance that Forest Lake has had here in the second half has been quickly sniffed out by this White Bear defense. Yeah, the Orange Crush, like you called them, they've been limiting the opportunities by the Rangers. Remember those Denver Broncos uniforms back in the day? I do. They might be back. <laughs> Nowadays, there's a new uniform every week in uh, professional and college sports. Some teams even have unveilings every week where yeah. you can see what's the color combination going to be. Nice deep ball. Good chance. Thomas Breen had a shot at it there for White Bear Lake, but it bounced a little bit too high. Yeah, trying to line up his foot on a ball moving through the air. That's not easy. That's going to be a foul. Here now. Now back in the day, you used to have one home uniform, one away uniform. Now you got a home alternate, an away alternate. You got a color rush. You got a throwback. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Nowadays, you might have a blackout version. Yep, yep. Boise State unveiled theirs last week. Had a black jersey with a little blue piping on it. Looked pretty nice. These orange kits are beautiful, though, by the, the White Bears wearing. I like them. Good chance in the box for White Bear Lake. Uh, a little bit too far. Looking for J.B. Morris. Oh, good deep. They're going deep. Oberholzer down there. One of the few times we've called his name here in the second half. He's been held in check. Yeah, it seems like a good idea to try to get him involved. He's a guy who could score goals. Averages more than one a game. He's got one today. Sure would like a second. Oh. Good play ahead. Rangers will retrieve. Right on the line there. I don't think that one went out. There was no whistle. Now they now there the is. <laughs> I don't know if that one crossed the line. I don't think it did. Regardless, it'll remain Forest Lake, or I should say it will be a Forest Lake throw in with Cole House. Good D by Dressel. I think he had actually had stolen the ball. He didn't need that extra physical bump. I almost wonder if they were going to call a foul for that because it was kind of extra, but great defense. Too many orange players around those white jerseys right now. Bears working ahead. And they're fine with that, just clearing it to the other end of the field. Sure. That'll take a solid 15 to 20 seconds at the least off this clock every time that happens. Yeah, they look pretty content with the two to one, two to one lead. And they're willing to keep poking down to try to make it three to one. Goal kick, Forest Lake. But Forest Lake's not getting any opportunities. At the midfield. Falling out of bounds. One of the very interesting things about seeing all these games, soccer games played on a football field or football on a football field, is you have these yard markers. So you can really see like where are people lining up. Yeah. And I can say something like, well, they're not really getting past the 30 yard line, which you typically are not going to say when you're watching Real Madrid or yeah. the Bundesliga. Ooh. Ooh, heavy contact, no call. Well, almost like a hip check over there. Ooh. And now Forrest Lake will break out at the other end of the field. Aiden's going to have to recenter it. He's got the defender on him, was not able to beat him. Cross the ball, green Aiden. Bears will just clear it. Good move there. And now you're getting to the eight minute mark. Things have really got to kick in in terms of the aggression for Forrest Lake. Not quite in desperation mode because it's only a one goal contest. Yeah, and they're going against the wind right now. At least on the far side of the field, the wind's blowing towards their towards their net. On the other side, the wind really isn't blowing well, a little bit on the ends. Toward the middle of the net, the flag's not even moving. Oh, 
always interesting to see how five flags are pointing in one direction and one's not. Rangers trying to get their foot under it so they can work this one ahead on the far sideline. Here we go. That's what they need. Don't be too aggressive. Be patient. Find your find your spot. That Got is a chance. Oh my gosh. And he scores. I, you can't From call it. A far out, we got ourselves a 2-2 two -two game. That's amazing. The strike from downtown. And he does not look so, oh, he's doing the shush. <laughs> wow, well, what if you take another look? That took me by surprise. I thought that one was gonna. I was gonna call that an impossible angle, but it's not impossible. Clearly not, is that one? I thought that one was gonna sail over the net. We'll take another look right here, and this one is from many yards away, and the strike. Wow. Finds the twine, and we got ourselves a 2-2 game. That's amazing. Under eight minutes to play. That'd be Carter Thiesfield's seventh goal of the season. He did not look in any way surprised that he pulled that off. So now we'll see if that ramps up the intent. We'll see if Forest Lake now plays with a little bit more confidence. In a 2-2 game, seven minutes remaining. A goal like that's going to be tough to beat from a highlight perspective. Yeah. That was spectacular. Tough angle. Keeper put his arm up, but he really placed it perfectly. That's amazing. That's the skill level you see here. Yep. It's amazing. We have had a back and forth game. As soon as you think one team has the momentum, and they're, well, in theory, they, they're going to run the clock out. Yeah. Another comes back. We thought Forest Lake had all the momentum in the first half, and then White Bear comes, and they score the next two goals. That's your head. Chance. chance for the Bears. There's the cross. That's Nobody a home. Nice cross. Now there is. Good approach. There's a shot. Goes high. Couple of chances there for White Bear Lake. Yes. Responding after the goal Ranger goal. Lake. I like the settle down moment that we saw by White Bear there. Instead of the frantic kick it, kick it, kick it moment. That was great to see. Love to see that patience. A couple of weeks ago, right here on SCC, myself and Mike Peden did a broadcast here. Well, we'll wait a minute here as White Bear Lake's got a good opportunity in the box, taken away. As they were saying, did a broadcast of Tartan and St. Thomas Academy. Tartan, the heavy underdog coming in. Well, they were up two to nothing. St. Thomas Academy proceeded to score two goals in the final two minutes, and it ended in a t tie. We'll see what we get here tonight, and they fell in a 2-2 game as well. Bears trying to set something up, trying to get some more good chances, but the Rangers working ahead. Oberholtz are down there. Yes. Ooh, a little bit of contact. We play on. Oberholtz, sir. He's, he's trying to do it himself. He's trying to run after the ball here. One man show down there out of bounds. Well, they kind of did. They kind of did set that up by by just driving it so far deep when he was all there by himself. He probably needs somebody to run with him. Maybe they can't. He's so fast. But the defenders are there. Rangers have it. Here's Oberholzer. Earl feeds it up in the box. And the Bears will get that out. But a good throwing chance of coming here for Forest Lake. So they're threatening in a tie game. Yeah, this is really nice. This is playing out really nicely for Forest Lake. 2-2. Two -two. There's the throw in. See if they can get a header chance. It's headed, but away from the goal where they want it. Bears will feed it ahead. It's going to be a sprint to the ball. Good deep look at him go. Still got it. Keeper comes out. He'll get it out to the midfield. 
This is going to be an exciting final three minutes and change. White Bear Lake far sideline, contact. Forest Lake will throw in. Headed out. Rangers will work ahead. There's a foul. Rangers will free kick. That's a good foul for the Rangers. Isaiah Dressel. Coming up on three minutes here. Oh, they're calling. What are they calling? Substitution. White Bear Lake, it looks like we're going to sub in. Free kick, Forest Lake. Rangers will free kick. Should get some guys up there. There we go. They still got three players deep. They're sending nobody else down to the box. Off the free kick. That is a nice ball. Head. Oh, I thought that one was touched by the keeper. So, in theory, this should corner be a Forest kick. Lake corner, corner kick. It is. Yes. We'll see how that comes back to keeper. play into the decision of this one. Keeper tried to grab it, but couldn't get to it. Look at the look at the flag flying. Carter Thiesfield. Rangers are pretty good with their set pieces. Put it in play. Looking for that far post. I almost had it. Play in the box. Plenty of defense there for White Bear Lake. They're trying to break out themselves. Rangers have it. Trying to work towards the box. White Bear throw in here with two minutes and change to play. Nice, yeah, far side line, nice pass, but there. nobody there, yeah. Good idea. But you need to make sure you have somebody running after that before you do it. Rangers feed it ahead. A little give and go over there. Ooh. There's a trip from behind, so Forest Lake will have another kick. And they want to hustle here. They do. With a uh, minute, four, four, minute 30 to go. Clock's running. Put it in play. That's a long play. Trying to get it into the box. Dressel will have it outside. He does a good job. Been impressed by him tonight. About a minute 15 to go. Another long ball. In the box. Good chance. White Bear, good defensive set. Here's drifting towards the center. Nice. In the middle. One minute. It's kept it out. out. This is going to be a corner. A quick one, too. Under a minute to play. Corner kick, four to slay. Quick corner. They're moving quickly. Going to the far post. That one a little bit too far. Oh, good Got his foot on it, though. Good defense. And this one's going to be cleared out. White Bear trying to take some time off. Corner kick, four to slay. Another corner kick, this time on the near side. 30 seconds. Puts boot to ball. In the box. Fully grabbed it. Nothing doing. Keeper is all the way outside the box. Oh, that's going to end it. 20 seconds. There's nothing doing as the Bears will work it back down to the other end of the field. Jocelyn at the midfield. That's it. And that'll end regulation. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, here at we're White headed to Stadium. Overtime. And we will go to overtime here in White Bear Lake. And that was some pretty exciting soccer there those last five minutes or so. Uh, Donna, as we go into overtime, who do you think has the edge? That's such a great question. I was thinking, the, the funny thing I was thinking is the game began and ended with, with an intensity with the players going down, running down the field mm -hmm. with, with that kind of thing. And I guess it seems like Forest Lake had the edge there at the end there. So if they can keep that momentum, be curious to see if, what happens here with uh, White Bear Lake. They, they had dominated a good chunk of this game after being dominated. 
really game has gone back and forth, so I guess the fact that it's tied maybe seems appropriate. The biggest difference right now is that missed penalty. Yeah, that's that's the big one in the game right now. Uh, that missed penalty kick by Thiesfeld, upcoming broadcast, as you can see. That's this Friday night, Tartan and Hastings here on NCC. Next Tuesday night, doubleheader, boys and girls soccer, Matavida, Hill Murray. That North St. Paul volleyball team is looking good, head coached by Stephanie Blanda. Looking like one of the top teams in Section 4-3A. Tartan Matamidi, that's a good one. That is one of the best 5A rivalries around. They met for the section championship last year. Titans and Zephyrs, and then coming back, football, White Bear Lake and Woodbury. Woodbury was a top five teams last season in 6A. They're off to an 0-3 start. Woodbury football will take on Stillwater this Friday night. That game will be live broadcast by our sister station, Vac TV, out in Stillwater between the Ponies and Royals out there. And as Carl Dindy talks to his team about what is going to happen here in this overtime, two five-minute overtime period, no golden goal. And we'll see how this one ends. Should be an exciting one here tonight as the fans have gotten a good one here at White Bear Stadium. A seesaw back and forth game. I wouldn't say either team has really had been better than the other tonight. It's been, uh, it's right. been pretty evenly matched. I agree, yeah. You can see, too, that the parents are enjoying this comfortable weather now that the sun is set. It feels like a nice summer evening. I was looking at that schedule, and I'm looking at October and Tartan Matabidi game, and you got to think that one's going to be uh, – Maybe. Cooler temperatures than it is tonight. You no short sleeves? I don't think so. No. No, I don't think so. <laughs> we get this late your summer in the third week or so of September. It seems like every year. We do. Fools people. What do we got? We got 80 degree temperatures here tonight. Yes. According to my phone. Um, it fools everybody. And then all of a sudden you hit 50. Well, I think we ran into 40. it a couple weeks ago. It yep. was a really nice day, and then we had that evening cool down yep. where the camera guys in their shorts were regretting their <laughs> shorts. <laughs> Absolutely. Overtime set to begin and commence with the Rangers as they will kick what, it all what the way down. What is that about? Does that work? Okay. Well, I just gave it away. The, all three <laughs> starts have been the same thing. <laughs> Try to catch him off guard, I guess. I don't know. I think you have more soccer experience than I do. I, yeah. I'd Let's quick outline Ted LaRue's soccer experience. I need to watch more games to see if everybody starts off with that maneuver. Played one season of rec soccer in sixth grade. Broke my arm in a bike accident. Never played again. That's about all the soccer experience I have leading into these sets of broadcasts this season. But Ted, you don't even need your arms in soccer. So why <laughs> did breaking your arm stop you? Ah, uh, yeah, just, you know, it was just an excuse to get out of it, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, you need your arms to run, though. You need uh, running is a full body activity, as Oberholzer. <laughs> I'm sure Jordan Oberholzer knows how he needs his arms to run. There we go. Because he's been doing a lot of running here tonight. I love Oberholzer's passing there. You can just see he has these nice touches, gives, helps his teammates, sets them up. Here we go, Forest Lake looking pretty aggressive so far at the start of this. I'm trying to lead it ahead. And here comes White Bear Lake back the other way. Malik trying to feed it ahead. Get on the keeper, some contact. Not enough to draw a whistle. But I think it might draw a whistle actually for a timeout. Okay. We're going to have an injury here. Keeper was ready for that one, though. He turned his body to him. shield himself from any impact. Gavin Rodgers, he's got one of the two goals here tonight for White Bear Lake. Trainers stopped coming out for him. <laughs> hey, trainer. 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 <laughs> trainer. <laughs> okay, Gavin, you go to him. He turned around. It's hilarious. He went back down because he's in pain. You really expect a lot out of your trainers, don't you? <laughs> they are important people. They are. They yes. are lifesavers. Yes, they well, are. close. Yeah. 
Three minutes to play here in the first overtime. Oh, nice setup, but nobody there. Ooh, where was he going? Bears have it on their end of the field. Bears working ahead go. to Malik. Oh, good. good play, taking that ball right away. Overholzer was down there at the end of the field. They try to get it to him. Daniel Vargas. Needs it back. Now the Bears trying to work the other side. Trying to get it towards the middle. Nothing doing. Robert Holtz are over there for Forest Lake. Yes, the players in orange and their fans were yelling for handball, but it doesn't work that way. Look at that. Oberholzer somehow got out of that with the ball. Trying to get it towards the center. Now there's a cross a nice for a header, cross. but some double coverage over there for White Bear Lake. This one's cleared out. They're looking to set something up here. About a minute and a half left here in this overtime. Ooh, in dangerous. the box, good chance. White Bear Lake, some active feet. Rangers get it back, double team there in the corner. Solid like that one, defense. Yeah, that one went off the Rangers, so White Bear Lake will take possession. Solid defense and a great, great reversal there. A lot of times when you have a one-on-two, you have the uh, Forest Rake player try to kick it off of a bear out of bounds, but instead they took it away. Now they're throwing it in. Oh, immediately stolen, though. Trying to cross it. Easy play. Under a minute left. That cross was a little too deep to, to uh, do much with it, except give it to their goalkeeper. He's going to boot it. Nice. Away. Bears clear it out. Gets under it like a fair catch out there, Victor Rizzo. He did. Ball thrown in. Rangers, cross, right in front of Oberholzer. Couldn't handle it though. I've been impressed by Smith's throw-ins, too, number 18, wearing that captain's armband. He throws the ball in really nicely, usually to his teammates. That'll end the first overtime, oh. the first half of overtime, I should say. And we're going to have five more minutes back on the clock. If we do not get a goal in the five minutes, here this game will end in a tie. So regardless, we're going to play five more minutes of soccer here tonight. So, whenever I show up to do a soccer game for SEC, we get two to two, right? No overtime. Last time, as we said, it was uh, Tartan and St. Thomas Academy that ended in a two to two tie. After Tartan had a two nothing lead, there's your previous ten meetings. So you say the last two meetings have been ties, nothing nothing last year. Two to two, a year ago. Last time, the last time we had a definitive decision. It was 2016 when White Bear Lake shut him out 2-0. Wow. Well, Forest Lake certainly wants to get the win so they can reverse that, that trend. A, a tie just continues their winless streak. It would be three straight ties in this game if no one can get a goal here in five minutes. I'm going to call a handball there. I'm going to deflect it off of his hand. And, Good chance for the Bears. So set something up. So they're going to have a free kick here. Free kick, White Bear Lake. It's a good opportunity. I certainly don't think the Ranger had any intent to yeah. trap that with his ball, but some. But he also did not move his arm out of the way. If they can see you trying to, yep. to stop it, that'll make a difference. Karsten Kletty will put it in play as Forest Lake setting up the wall. Hey, 
But he puts it in play, high lob, and that one didn't have much of a chance, went nope. wide. Forest Lake could set up on the wall there. No, I'm, you know, as quickly as five minutes can pass, that, that, that could have been a winner. But no such luck. Bears get a shot here, Jagger Larson. Good passing. Here's Larson, get it to the middle. Ahead and Lynn caught up to it. He read that play the entire way. Well-placed kick though, was out of the reach of the defender. Was almost within the uh, reach of his teammate. He's a good chance, getting towards the middle. Gonna need to pass it, there you go. Good pass. Fires and a save by Lynn. Here we go. We're at three minutes here. With some contact, maybe some tangling of the feet. I mean, in this game, contact's been big, right? We've had those two yep. penalty kicks yep. on heavy contact in the box. Someone's got to try to figure out how to get that opportunity if, if the Referee's gonna give it to you. Looks like we're gonna get a free kick, White Bear Lake, after the whistle. 2.40 to play. Free kick from well outside the box. Yeah, this is gonna be an attack opportunity, this is I think. Vargas puts it high in the air. Got some attackers down there. Header on another one. Nice save, diving. Lynn keeps it 2-2. So one thing that confuses me on that play, look at the number of orange players in the box there against were a lot. the rubber white. That should not happen. I think you saw the frustration from Gunnar Lynn. I think that's why, because yeah. they were clear, clearly outnumbered. There's the replay. You got one, two, three, four, five against one, basically. Yeah, where? who's marking whom? Come on, get down here. Yeah, the goalie has a right to be mad about that. He's not supposed to be able to, I mean, one-on-one -on -one versus the goalie is bad enough. But five? He's lucky they just didn't like tap it to each other and just blow it up right in his face. The whistle, this one will allow the Rangers to keep possession. Free kick for There's a chance here. Minute and a half left. Boot to ball, that's a long kick in on net. Sneaked it out of the air a minute to go. One minute. The game would be a lot different without a goalie, but some of these shots, I don't really know how they're supposed to trick the goalie. We did have the one. That was amazing. That forced this tie, forced overtime. Get it to the middle. Defended well. 35 seconds to play. This one for the third straight year in danger of ending up in a tie once again. And it'll go the way of the Rangers. That might do, do it for White Bear Lake and their chances to win, but Forest Lake might have a chance to win. Some contact over there, Oberholzer to the center of the field. Picked up by Dressel. Oh, Miss fires. Kept, Kept it, in. it in, yep. Five seconds to go. Off. That one went off Forest Lake, and this one's going to end in a tie. Wow. For the third straight year, White Bear Lake and in Forest Lake ends in a draw. This one a 2-2 draw between the Rangers and the Bears. Here, Don, to wrap this one up. This one was even the whole way. What a goal to tie this one up late in the second half. It went back and forth in the end, third straight year. But this one ends in a draw, and Forest Lake Still, only one win over the last decade against White Bear Lake. Both teams had great moments in this game, and both of them had great opportunities to win. And in the end, I think the uh, Orange Crush defense prevented Forest Lake from doing anything more than uh, coming with a tie.
2-2 the final here. Thanks for joining us here this evening. It was a fun one for Don Ackerman and this entire crew here tonight. My name is Ted LaRue. 2-2 our final here on SEC Sports.